When a woman has a baby, she's pregnant for quite a long time. And I always kind of feel bad for women that are in their third trimester of their pregnancy in, say, July and August when it's well over 100 degrees. But we're going to take a look at the normal curve. Okay, this is the average length of pregnancies. In fact, um, check this out. If you turn it, let's do this. Oh, look, there's a pregnant lady like that. That's our normal curve. In fact, that's my daughter. That was the day that she was born. Um, very unhappy about the whole experience. But anyway, um, let's go on to our uh, first question in the homework. Hey, I'm going to help you with this first homework question. Now let's take a look at a couple of things before we even get started. First of all, if you do get confused, this little round symbol here and the page number tells you a problem in the book that is just like this one. So you can refer to that one and say, oh, okay, let me take a look at how they do that one and compare it to this one. Also, four-step process right there. That means that we're going to do state, plan, do, conclude. I'm not going to do that on this video, but that's something that you should start to get used to trying to write up as best you can, especially since we only had four questions for homework. Okay, let's talk about this problem. You have the length of human pregnancies, which is 266 days. That's the average pregnancy, standard deviation of 16 days. Now, the z-score and standard deviation stuff only really works if you have a, uh, where is it? It's a approximately normal, right? Oh, right there, approximately normal distribution. So what does that mean? I'm going to show you what that means to me over here. Now, just a second, let me do this. I'm going to draw a little picture. So here we have our normal curve, our approximate normal curve, and right in the middle is going to be our average length of a pregnancy, 266 days. Now, it's really kind of what I think of it as 266 days plus or minus 16 days. That's what most people's pregnancies last. Some are a little longer than 266, some a little bit shorter. How, how much? Well, funny you should ask. Approximately 68% of the pregnancies are going to be plus or minus 16 days in this range. Okay, so i got a kind of an idea of what that is. Now, Question A says, what, per what percentile is a pregnancy that lasts 240 days? Now, I'm thinking about that. Now, that's way down here somewhere, 240 days, pretty far away from our mean. So I'm going to look at what is it, let's see. So something like this, I'm going to look for this area under the curve that's below that 240 mark. Now, let me draw another picture of what that looks like. Now, I figured out the z-score, and we've done that a fair amount, and you should be getting used to that. So here's the formula for z-score. The number we're looking at, subtract the mean, divided by the standard deviation, gives me this. Now, I've normalized my curve down here. Okay, So in doing this, I've changed my curve, so now my mean is 0. And I say, oh, well, I'm just 1.625 standard deviations away from the mean. Um, so that's just a standard way of looking at how many standard deviations am I away. What I want to do is figure out how much area is there below that number. And the way I do that is I'm going to use a calculator. Now, check this out. On the calculator, I've got a couple things. You really want to look at, right here, the distribution, that blue. That's where we're going to spend a lot of time. And that's this one. Let's see. You should look at this screen. Come on. And the three things we really want to look at right now in the calculator is, well, definitely normal CDF and inverse norm. And you, I'm going to give you a challenge for that first one, normal PDF, but these two for sure. Normal CDF and inverse norm. Okay, so now what I did is I'm going to figure out um, the area below that negative 
0.625. Now I went into normal CDF. In fact, you can see it right here. It shows you on the calculator. We're right in normal CDF. And I went from negative 100, 100 standard deviations, way down here. Calculator doesn't care. We just want to make sure we get every piece of data. That's just as a precaution. So from negative 100 all the way up to negative 1.625, all this area. And I press enter, and the answer that I got is right there, 0.052. So if we move the decimal and make it a percentage, it is 5.2% of this data is under here. So in other words what we're going to say is that this pregnancy that is 240 days is at approximately the fifth percentile. Only five percent of the pregnancies last less time than that. Okay so that's the answer to letter A. Let's move on to letter B. So letter B says well what percent of the pregnancies are between 240 days and 270 days. In other words, we want to find the area under this graph. Remember the area, the total area is 1. And we want to find out this area right here, between 240 and 270. This is how I'm going to do it. I already know that this is 5.2 percent right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out the 270, figure out the whole area, and then take away that 5.2% that we already got. And that leaves us with this area in there. And let me show you what that looks like. Now I did another z-score, and you can probably start to guess that these z-scores are going to be pretty important for this statistics course. Always looking at these z-scores, and the 0.25, what does that tell us? Well, it's 0.25 standard deviations above the mean pretty close to this average. That kind of makes sense. Okay, there's that one. Now let me think about the uh, the percentage of the material or data that's underneath that 270. Let, let me do that using the calculator. Remember, normal CDF. Using normal CDF, I figured out that 59% of the data, 59.8% of the data is below that. That kind of makes sense to me. That here we are at halfway and it's just a little bit above half. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take away that 5.2. Okay, I'll just draw that out right now. 59.8, and we're going to subtract 5.2, which is what we got on our letter A. And we get 54.6. So 54.6% of the pregnancies last between 240 days and 270 days. See how I'm like concluding? I'm not just saying 54.6%. I say what that means. Okay, that's a good habit to get into. What does this number tell us? Let's go to letter C, which is a little bit tricky. Now, the way this question is worded, it could be a little bit confusing. It says, how long did the longest 20% of pregnancies last? Let me draw a picture of what that looks like. Again, our normal curve, the longest 20%, longest 20%, which means 80% has to be shorter than that. So we're way up here, the longest 20%. Okay, so we're going to find out the 80th percentile. Um, so 80% of our data is underneath that curve, and we want to find out how far are we away from the mean to get 80%. Remember, we're trying to get 80% of that data underneath. Okay, let's start with that. So we're trying to figure out this. Okay, what, um, what number's right there? Okay, we have 80% of the data, but we, ha we don't know what the z-score is. So we gotta figure out what the z-score is first. And the way we do that is we use inverse norm. Now normally we're trying to find out how much area is underneath the curve using this number, that z-score. Now we have the area and we're trying to figure out what the z-score is. So we're kind of going backwards. And this is what it looks like in the calculator. So one more time, just because this can be a little bit confusing, we're trying to figure out the z-score for the area under the curve. If we have 80% of the area 
here, what's that z-score? Here's the area, 80%. If we use the inverse norm, it'll give us a value for what that z-score is. How far away are we from the standard deviation to encompass 80% of the data? Now that's helpful. So we know that we are at uh, 0.84 standard deviations above the mean. Now let's put that into our equation. And we're going to solve for x. And let's do that just using um, some algebra. So here's our answer, 279. So if your pregnancy lasts approximately 280 days, 279 days, you're in that top 20% of long pregnancies. Anything 279 and above. So there's your answer. I hope that helps. And um, just keep working at it. And uh, I'll see you on um, Monday, I guess. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your challenge in case you want to try it. Can you draw this picture on the calculator using, here's my hint, you're going to go to normal PDF and use the draw command to do that and try to come up with that picture. Okay. If you want to try it, do it. And if you do it, you are more awesome than you were before. Okay. See you later. Bye.